everybody out there in the comic book community and welcome back to another preview review. You guys know me. I'm Chris, Dark Avenger C86. First of all, want to wish all of you out there a happy Valentine's Day. I'm not the biggest fan of Valentine's Day, but still recording this uh, just as I got home from work. Got to get up again early tomorrow. So just going to shoot this and hopefully it'll get up on CCC um, before I go to work tomorrow or maybe I'll put it up before I go to bed tonight. But anyway, um... This time on Preview Review, we're going to be doing a book that's on everybody's mind. Everybody's been talking about it. Uh, it's been discussed in several forums. It has its own Twitter. It has its own website. Marvel's next big event that's going to lead us all the way until the end of 2012, October to be exact. Avengers vs. X-Men Round 1 Preview. This is seven pages from the first issue of Avengers vs. X-Men and um, a lot of people did talk about there was a series back in the 80's that was Avengers vs. X-Men it wasn't as big um, you can probably get it it's probably you could probably find it at Midtown you get all four issues for four dollars unless the price is now buffed up because of the Avengers vs. X-Men issue zero is coming out next month uh, as soon as Avengers X Sanction finishes um, Here's the cover. I, the cover's been here since I started talking. Um, yeah, we've all seen this cover before. Uh, we've all wondered, what's going to cause Avengers vs. X-Men? What's the whole... Who's the good guys? Who's the bad guys? What's the plot? And here you get a briefie. Not a lot, but a brief uh, showing of what may be a... Well, what the plot is and what may lead to the... Uh, indecision between the Avengers and the X-Men that causes the whole fight. So let's not waste any more time. That was two minutes of, a, of an intro. Let's go to page one. Captain America and Iron Man at the White House. By the way, guys, you can check this preview out uh, on CBR.com. I'm sure if you skim, if you scan down, you'll catch up to this. It was, it's only about a week old. You'll find it. I'm pretty sure you'll find it. It has... Alright, on this page we have Captain America and Iron Man talking to the, I want to say the U.S. government, the President and the U.S. Uh, Army, government, what have you. And they're talking about the greatest threats that have ever come. And um, both Thor and Tony have been scanning this thing. Nova is on Earth. We don't see Nova in this page. But they're talking about uh, how Nova crashed into Earth and, you know... They think they know what the disturbance is. Moving on to the next page, we finally find out that it is the Phoenix Force. And they have a picture of Jean Grey in the background. Cap and Iron Man are explaining how what happened last time. You know, how um, death and destruction follows when the Phoenix Force is around. And the Phoenix Force is headed straight for Earth. And, uh, yeah. The next page we have a lot of the Avengers on the top of the at the top of the screen. Uh, something happens with the Phoenix Force, and um, n even Cap and Iron Man have no idea how or why that happened. But um, Cap is like, "Do you know where the Phoenix Force is going? Who it's aimed at?" And Iron Man knows all too well because she just came to the Marvel U. What? A year or two ago. So, next page, we are at the Jean Grey School of Higher Learning, and it has Cap and Wolverine having that talk about. Cap knows who the Phoenix Force is going for, and so does Wolverine. Uh, Wolverine up front says, I'm not putting this school in jeopardy. These kids are here to have a normal life, or to grow up as normal as possible. So, the final panel has Cap saying, can I count on you? No answer from Wolverine. Not a single answer. So that leaves Wolverine's siding as an indecision right now. We don't know where Wolverine is going to side, who Wolverine is going to side with. And um, artwork so far is beautiful. All the pages, i got to say, the artwork is really awesome. Next page, we are with Cyclops... Colossus, Magneto, Namor, and Emma Frost on Utopia. 
And here is where you can see a lot of the plot, a lot of Cyclops aside. Now, the Avengers, from what you see in the beginning, it seems they want to contain the Phoenix Force. They want to prevent it from getting to hope. But in order to do that, they have to do something with hope. Here you see Cyclops talking with, and the reason I'm spoiling this for you guys is because it's right in front of you right now. And you can go on CBR. I'm not really spoiling anything. You're reading basically along with me. Unless you can't see the words, then you're probably going to go on CBR and go page by page with me uh, after you've read the page and see my opinion. On this page, though, we have Cyclops talking to the other X-Men, and they're like, what's going on? What's in your mind? What are you thinking about? And Scott says, power. The power to put the world back in on track. So he thinks that Hope getting the Phoenix Force is going to put power back into um, in the X it's going to put power in the X-Men's hands and it's going to they could use that to bring equality between mutants and humans. And even um, Magneto says you're starting to sound like me now, Scott. And Cyclops is explaining how this is good. You know, there's not too many of us left ever since um, what Scarlet Witch did. This is a good thing. We could teach her. We could train her. She could be able to control the Phoenix Force. So, in my opinion, this makes Cyclops look like the bad guy in a sense. These are the... You could tell that Cyclops... It's not going to be good if Cyclops and his X-Men get a hold of the Phoenix Force. Because they're definitely going to be using that uh, to their advantage and to... Um, Cyclops, is, it's more to bring fear because Cyclops' side was always, we'll protect you, but don't screw with us or else we're going to hurt you. So it's protection but with fear uh, in the back of everybody's mind. They do. He still in, um, enforces a bit of fear so people will be afraid of them at the same time as um, you know, willing to have them, the, the X-Men or Cyclops' X-Men defend them. Hard to explain, but it's kind of why I'm not into Cyclops' side. Cyclops is his team is a good team is a good guy team but at the same time um they keep their the people in check by in for, by showing fear at the same time people are too afraid to go against them but they'll but the x-men will defend those people but nobody will ever have the guts to go against the x-men directly it's hard to explain. For those of you who've been reading X-Men, you know exactly what I mean. Um, so anyway, on the next page, we're now on page six. It's pretty much the same thing, discussing about you know the Phoenix Wars and um, how they could train her, get her prepared for it. You know, they're trying to understand why. Even Emma's kind of like, um, do you think Hope's even up for it? Um, yeah, and Scott's just like, he's all for Hope becoming Phoenix and him using her as some type of a weapon or some type of a means to in, in, um, instill fear in the people and try to bring some equality back um, into the um, mutant and human race thing. I don't know. Nobody understands how Scott's thinking, but he's turning into a bad guy. Well, we'll, we'll get to the whole idea of things in a, in a moment. Now on the last page, Cap is at Utopia. Psych is going to talk to Cap. Hope shows up, and she's like, "What's going on?" And Emma's like, "He's here to take you." And she's like, "What? Why?" And then Colossus says, "Can you hear them?" And she's like, "Yeah, but I hope things don't get ramped up or anything like that." And then now more interrupts and says, "Whenever it's Cap, whenever Cap's around, things are already ramped up." And that's where they leave it off. It says to be continued. In Avengers vs. X-Men number one on sale April 2012. Okay, my opinion on this whole thing. You can kind of feel like, okay, Avengers want to contain Hope so that the Phoenix Force doesn't get to her and they can destroy the Phoenix Force. Whereas Cyclops wants Hope to become Phoenix and then he's going to basically use Hope as a weapon to instill fear in the human race, basically. So people will never mess with the X-Men ever again. Which, in my sense, out of the two, both sides don't aren't exactly innocent, but Cyclops' side, in my opinion, is, um, yeah, that's kind of a bad, kind of, like, if I had to pick a side right now, I'd be with the Avengers, because they just want to protect Hope until they get rid of the Phoenix Force, I believe, I believe, I'm not sure, 
whereas Cyclops just wants to use it as a complete weapon. So Cyclops, in turn, is really becoming more of a Magneto. I hope by the end of the series, either Cyclops is incarcerated or he's killed. Because I'm telling you guys, they are brushing Cyclops up. He's not even an anti-hero at this point. He's, his entire views of the world and everything else have definitely, definitely been twisted. And there's no Professor Xavier around anymore to guide Cyclops. Even if Professor Xavier was around, Cyclops now considers himself Xavier's equal, not his student. So, I wonder actually what Professor Xavier's stand in all this is going to be. That's a good question. Will Xavier, Professor Xavier be involved in Avengers vs. X-Men at all? I guess we'll all just have to wait and see. But I'll be honest with you guys, I'm pumped for this series. This preview only added on to that pump that um, was already there. So I'm double pumped now to see what exactly is going to go on from April all the way to October. Alright guys, this was the preview uh, for Avengers vs. X-Men round 1 or issue 1. Go check out the preview. Leave comments below on things that... Uh, your predictions and your opinions, and I'll see you guys next time. Take care, everybody, and keep reading.